The government of Zain Dujia on Monday received the final tranche of grant funding from the Republic of China-Taiwan as part of the Taiwan Community Development Project Agreement. During a small handing over ceremony held at the Financial Center, Ambassador of Taiwan to Zain Dujia, His Excellency Peter Chen, presented the check of U.S. $612,000 to the Counter General of Zain Dujia. His Excellency Peter Chen pledged Taiwan's support to helping Zain Dujia build a sustainable future. CDP projects are not only big bonds for reinvigorating economic growth, especially when facing this COVID pandemic, but also one of the key measures to accelerate actions toward the adaptation to climate change impacts and an important strategy to meet people's need. To incorporate local communities, business, civil society in the joint efforts, Taiwan is proud to be part of that. Prime Minister of Zain Dusha and Minister for Finance, Economic Development and Youth Economy, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, thanking the government of Taiwan for their support, highlighted the intended use of the funds. These 612,000 US dollars will be used for community projects. It's also going to be used to clean up St. Lucia. I'm sure many of you look at the state of this country the verges. There, there are some areas in the country where the, the, the bush actually is on the road. That cannot happen. A country cannot continue to look like that. And in all constituencies, we'll try to use some of that 612,000 US dollars to clean St. Lucia, to, to have a new spirit, a freshness, a cleanliness in this country. And you can't have a country where it seems to be developing, but where the people are not part of that development. And I'm asking the ambassador that I'll be knocking on his door very shortly to have possibly a one put in front of the 612,000 for more cleanup projects. Because I can assure him, because of the state of this country, the 612,000 dollars will surely not be enough to, to clean it up. But we're going to use part of it to clean it, to clean this country. The Prime Minister pledged accountability in the use of the funds. He also announced that the first initiative as part of the youth economy is soon to commence and will be funded by the government of Taiwan.